a song to uh, invite our good friends Pogro up on stage with us. Are they here? Pogro, please. Go on. <laughs> They're real nice. We compliment each other a lot. It's disgusting. Um, so this is a song that we, we tried playing it once, and, and we're going to try playing it again. We, we, we tried practicing it in the green room once, but we're, we've never played it up on a stage with instruments plugged in or anything like that. So, so, um, so it's gonna, so it's gonna suck. <laughs> I love it when people say that on stage. Sorry if this sucks. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I'll try to back. This song is gonna rule! Woo! It's gonna blow you away. It's gonna be the best song you have ever heard in your entire life. You are gonna tell your grandchildren about this performance of this song? Maybe you should try for a happy medium. <laughs> this is a song, this is a song that, that I wrote about. It's a sort of a teen love song to uh, to the current president of the United States um, <laughs> back around the inauguration time. And it's, uh, it's called True Enough. Perfect. <laughs> it's kind of a tortured love song, really. <laughs> Could you hit them and distract them by hitting the machine that goes <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Oh, you're broken. Nice job, Doris. It's called True Enough. Oh, Ahus, 200 miles from here. 4,000 miles from Tokyo, 4,000 from Chicago, 5,000 from Atlanta, 10,000 miles from Canada. 